Okay, next uh, we will look at uh, another procedure uh, which is called the eNodeB configuration update uh, that can happen on the S1 AP interface. So here, uh, this is how the high level call flow looks like. So the, you have an eNodeB, you have the MME. Uh, the eNodeB, there is some configuration update that is made on the eNodeB uh, that the MME really cares about. And in that case, the eNodeB is going to send an eNodeB configuration update message to the MME. And the MME can do one of two things. It can either acknowledge that or it can um, reject. And in that case, it will send an update failure message, which is this picture shown here. So this is, case, this is a successful case, and then this is a failure case. So now let's look into why, uh, under what circumstances uh, would an eNodeB send a config update. So eNodeP initiates a procedure by sending config update to the MME, including the set of updated configuration. So this can include a tracking area, paging parameters, PLMN, a closed subscriber group ID, among other things. So there are certain parameters that the MME really cares about uh, uh, that are even though they are provisioned on the eNodeB, the MME needs to be aware about. And some of them are listed here, like the tracking area, PLMN, CSG ID. So anytime there is an update here on any of those parameters, this procedure happens. So the MME responds with a config update acknowledge in the scenario where the MME accepts the config changes. eNodeB may initiate a further configuration update procedure only after a previous config update has been completed. So this is a 3GPP requirement that it's not like uh, say you changed two parameters, one after the other, and one failed, and the second would would complete. That is not how it works. The eNodeB can only initiate subsequent config updates if the first one was successful, right? It makes sense, right? You don't want your network to kind of be out of sync. That's, that's the, the intention here. If the MME cannot accept the update, it will respond with eNodeB config update failure message and the appropriate cause value. It will give you a cause value that why that message actually failed. If the eNodeB config update failure includes the time to wait information element, the eNodeB shall wait for the indicated time before reinitiating the eNodeB config update procedure. So there is a, a mechanism in 3GPP where the MME can tell the eNodeB, hey, you know, I want you to wait for X amount of time and then reinitiate the process. So this is where that becomes in, uh, in picture. And this may be useful in, you know, if there are too many updates happening, MME needs more time or if there is congestion or overload on the MME, all this can come into play. So this is the eNodeB configuration update procedure, seen quite common in networks where we have to change tracking areas, uh, PLMNs, or paging parameters.